Etiquette expert Claudia Caporal says if you prefer bistro fare with a French accent, you should check out her choice. But no need to mind your P's and Q's at this spot. The bustling brasserie offers a fun, casual ambiance with authentic cuisine that will transport you straight to the sidewalks of Paris. It's in Coconut Grove and it's called Le Bouchon du Grove. Le Bouchon du Grove, it's a tiny French restaurant. Le Bouchon is a, um, to Lyon what a bistro is to Paris. That means a, a casual restaurant with uh, fresh uh, produce. This is the, the, the wood table, all close together. We put the music, like Edith Piaf. We don't put like classic music. Like you make it more even Frenchy. Like when, uh, when someone comes in, in the restaurant, the point is like, like they have to feel like in France. Exactly the same way it was in France. That's the point. The waiters, most of my waiters are, are French. Same as my chef. French cuisine is uh, as great as you say. It's because of the produce and the area and the weather. We are lucky for that. One of the specialties of the Bouchon is the, the chicken fricassee with uh, more mushroom risotto. We also have the sea bass with another risotto. The, banon, the Provençal Banon, it's a cheese from, uh, from Banon in south of France. When you, when you close the restaurant and you feel like, oh, all, all the people came with a nice smile on their face and they leave with the same nice uh, smile, perfect, like, I mean, uh, you made it. When you when you're in this business, if you're not passionate about, uh, about cuisine, about what you do, uh, it never works, it never works. It never works or it never lasts, definitely, definitely. You have to feel excited every day, every morning when you put your apron on, you have to feel like, okay, otherwise. Mm -mm. What is your first impression when you walk into Le Bouchon? It's a happy place. It's a definitely like casual, very relaxed uh, dining. Uh, I say that if you haven't been to France, for instance, this is a good place to go check out because it's a traditional French bistro, usually with open doors, like the seating, you know, goes to out in the in the street. And but they don't really they take the, the food very seriously. So besides being like a colorful, cheerful place with like crazy garçons, you have good food. And it also has, I mean, it's just loaded with stuff, and it's kind of yeah. crazy and a loud and bustling. A lot of like French memorabilia. Mm -hmm. Like you really, it's like an authentic piece of, of France. In the in Miami, definitely they really Parisian, like no? Yeah, yeah. the Lyonnais. Yeah, actually, a little yeah. bit. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It is more south. Well, Julie, I, I disagree with uh, that as being authentic French. I thought it was kind of the fake French. I mean, you're just inundated with this overload of metal signs and every single possible surface, uh, part of the wall. Everything is just covered. I mean, it's just sort of over sensory kill. That's the charm um, of the place. That's what gives it some character. Well, I didn't think it had character. I, I came in and I was just like, oh my God, this is just too much. I, I totally disagree, because especially because of the food. You know, you see so many places in, the, in uh, Americanized, uh, Italian, American, Latin fusion. This is like the, when you see the menu, when you eat there, it's like the typical like French Lyonnaise food. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have any any combinations or like distractions into the American. It's a nice departure from the typical Miami dining scene. You really do feel like you're in another place. And that's one of the another thing that I like about this place is like you're in the middle of a coconut grove. It's a place that, you know, how many times you you get a chance to walk, just like stroll down the streets and like see people walking. Now you started with escargot. Yeah, I always go for the moule frites, but this time I ordered the escargots, which are also another of my, my favorite uh, dishes, and it was perfect. And uh, then I had a sea bass. This sea bass was like a, a pesto sauce mm -hmm. with some tomatoes and some... Like a uh, carpaccio of tomato? Yeah, carpaccio of tomato with a potato uh, gratin, mm -hmm. a potato. It was really, really nice. The texture, the... the, the um, uh, the the uh, portions were mm -hmm. perfect, like enough for one person. Not, not. I wouldn't say that is to share, but you were like really filled. And as a pregnant lady, I, find, I, I like find to the eat a lot. Be very generous. Yeah, and you? Tried I, I, quite I'm a bit big of... fan of mussels. I tried a lot of stuff there. I'm a big fan of mussels, and I thought they did a really good job. The portion was you had the generous. mussels. Yes, I had the mussels. They had the white wine broth with, with the shallots. Mm -hmm. um, very crisp, perfectly cooked French fries that went. It went very well with it. I actually uh, like to eat my mussels with the French fries inside. Like I take <laughs> away all the, all the shells and I just put the fries. So the, you're not a fries. mayonnaise dipper for your fries? No. no. That's my I, actually, I saw someone being served that and actually wished I had ordered that, the mousse and frites. 
um, the mussels with the thin That's French fries. That's a big seller there. It yeah. came out in a big um, crusette type pot, right. yes. uh, cast iron pot, and, and it was covered. Over, and it looked very good. And at, we were on our way out, and I thought, oh well, I, I guess had I ordered that, I might have enjoyed my what experience. What did you order? Yeah. That's my we favorite dish. We ordered the lamb. Um, although the chops, the meat themselves was good, uh -huh. and it would have been wonderful had it been seasoned. So everything was either not enough seasoned or seasoned too much. Actually, the best thing that we had was the French bread, which was, which was great and crispy, but there were no bread plates, and there were no butter knives. Probably not a good day. Know, so. <laughs> Because, um, not really, for real. I've was, been going to this place over experience. the years and the food never disappoints. It's one of those, like you can rely on their, on their offering, the menu. It's like consistently good uh, food every time uh, that I've been there. Yeah, I also tried the duck confit, which I thought they did a good job with. The, the skin was very crispy and, and the, the meat was tender and, and flavorful. Confit being the duck cooked in its own fat. Correct. One of my specialties. Did you drink uh, wine? I did, and, and the place is good. They have several different types of French wines by the glass, so there's good options. It makes wine pairing easy. Um, I definitely had a, a, a Muscadet with the mussels, and I moved on to a Burgundy with the duck confit, and, and the wine was great, and they're reasonably priced. You had one of my favorite things. Tell me a little bit about the onion soup. Onion soup was great. It was very hearty, a lot of flavor mm -hmm. to it. It was authentic. They did it the right way. It had some Swiss cheese on the top. Um, just they did it very well. It's a great soup. Now you go quite often. You've never had a problem with the language barrier. No, they are. They, I, I've gotten like crazy attitudes, a little bit of like a French attitude sometimes. Right. But I think that adds up to the character and the the, the colors of this place. And Tristan, the chef owner, has a lot of character himself. He does, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Strike up a conversation with him sometime. <laughs> well, this was your choice. Give me a little summary of Le Bouchon. Well, a place that you can really go and relax and uh, a full of color cheerful, uh, friendly atmosphere, a place where you can actually end up like uh, having a date with the person next to your table because they're so close by to each other, and the food is really reliable. Well, I would disagree. I would say skip this restaurant unless you want uh, a fake French experience. I would recommend. I think it's a nice escape from your typical Miami scene. I think you, you feel like you're in Europe when you're sitting in there. I think if you appreciate French bistros, it's a good spot for you. The service is great, and I recommend the food. Well, for authentic French fare and the perfect place to people watch, you can take a stroll to Le Bouchon du Grove. It's located at 3430 Main Highway in Coconut Grove. Open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Reservations are accepted, and the average price for a dinner without drinks is about $35.